Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I'm going to show you how to stop and start music using Visual Basic. So let's get right into it. But firstly, make sure you're using the .NET framework, and then after that, you can right click on your project in the Solution Explorer, go to Open Folder in File Explorer, then go to Bin, Debug, and this is where I'm going to be putting my audio file for this tutorial. You can put it wherever you want, but I'm putting it here. This folder is where Visual Studio runs your program by default. It might be different for a different IDE, if you're using a different IDE for Visual Basic. You can obviously put your WAV file wherever you want, I'm putting mine here though. And this only works for WAV files on the Windows operating system. If you don't see any of the files in here, that's alright. They will be generated when you first run your program, by hitting the play button. With that out of the way, let's get into how we can start, stop, and then start music using Visual Basic. So, we have got a couple of functions here. We have got sub play sound, which is file path as string as the parameter, and it's then got my.computer.audio.play, file path, and audio play mode background loop. If you don't, want, don't know what this means, click the AI up in the corner, I'll have a video on how you can play music using Visual Basic, and a video on how you can loop music using Visual Basic, but basically this works for looping or just playing a sound file once. And then we've got sub stop sound. This is going to be the function we're going to use to stop audio that's being played in this application. It's going to stop everything that plays in this application, not just the background music. We can put this one line of code in here, my.computer.audio.stop, and that just stops the audio coming from this application. So let's get around to using these functions we've just made. In our main method, we're firstly going to do play synthia.wav. So this string is going to be the file path of the audio file we want to play, and play sound is our function we defined here. Then we're going to do console.writeline enter to stop, then console.readline. Then we do stop sound. And so what's going to happen is, once the console.readline receives your input, it's then going to execute stop sound, which is going to stop all the sound that's playing in this program. After that, we can do console.writeLine, enter to play, then we can do console.readLine, and then we can do play sound synthia.wav. So what's occurring is, after we've stopped the sound, it's then going to print to the screen, enter to play, and then do another console.readLine. Once the console.readLine receives your input, it's then going to play synthia.wav. After that, we're going to do console.writeLine, enter to close, and console.readLine, and then after that, the console will just terminate. So, now that we've got that in place, let's hit play and see what happens. As you can see, it's playing synthia.wav. This is such a great song, by the way. And as you can see, it's now looping, so we're going to hit enter. And it stopped. So we're going to then hit enter again. And as you can hear, we're listening to Cynthia.wav again. So we hit enter again and it stops. And that's it for this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more Visual Basic tutorials. Thanks for being a great audience.